Hi guys! Welcome to our new video. And in this video, I will teach you how to create your very own Shadow Socks R server with the QR code so you can easily share or connect to the server. So without further ado, let's do it! So let's start our tutorial. So to create your own Shadow Socks R server, you need a, of course, uh, Linux distro which is Debian or Ubuntu and you need Bitbytes or Putty for remote access. So first thing you want to do is log into your VPS server. So let's log in. So now I'm using Debian 9. You just need to go to this link. I will put this on the description below. So you just need to copy this code. Copy this. And then go to the terminal box. Paste the code. And then press enter. Once you press enter, just click Shadow Socks R. So we are going to select two. And then enter so now we are going to put a de default password so let's say we're going to put at john for tv number 2020 and then enter so for the default default port you can choose anything you like but me I want to use it for SSL, so I'm going to put it on port 443. So the encryption I want to use is actually AS256CFB. So we're going to put number 2 again. And then enter. And then to the protocol. I use origin. Okay, let's select origin. And in OBFS, you can choose anything you like. If you want to use it uh, as is, you just need to select plain. If you want to obfuscate for HTTP traffic, you can use either of these. But since I want to use it on SSL, I'm going to select TLS 1.2 Ticket Auth, which is number 6. So I'm gonna put number 6 and then enter. So now, the installation will start. I just need to press any key. So I'm going to hit enter again. And it will automatically set it up. So for now, we just need to wait for this to install by itself. And it's done. So what we are going to do now is get the QR code on our SFTP which is here. So it states here that it's on root. So what we are going to do is since we are on root already, we are going to just hit the fresh. And it's here. 
So once we have this, just drag it on your desktop. And then this QR will show up. So once you scan this QR code, the SSR will be automatically set up on your Android or Windows device, whatever it is. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. So you can see all the future videos that we are going to upload once it is up. So thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.